Let me start by saying, if you know Andy Perman, or you meet an Andy Perman in your life, please believe him if he tell you something is hot. Like, not sexy hot, like she look good, but like, hot, like spicy, like you should not eat that. Don't. Andy Perman tell me they ordered chicken wings last night, and he came in with his sleeves rolled up. That's how you know it's Andy Perman, because he's not going to have sleeves. They're either going to be cut off or rolled up. It don't matter what kind of shirt he's got. Perman proceeds to tell me, oh my gosh, this is the hottest chicken wing I've ever had in my life. I only ate one, and I can't feel my face. Like, my whole body's on fire. It's terrible. It's on me. Like, hot wing, you only ate one? And it's the hottest thing you ever had in your life? Like, either you soft, or that's some really some hot stuff. If you know Andy, or you're going to meet him, you're going to hear something like this, probably. No, you don't understand. This is utterly ridiculous. Like, it just doesn't. This is probably the hottest thing I've ever eaten in my life. Like, it's, uh, like nothing compares. It just, it just keeps getting hotter. It gets hotter and hotter. So I go, it can't be that hot. Like, really? He goes, no, there's some left. I'll go get you one if you want it. He's like, I can't wait to see this. You want it? I love chicken wings, so I'm like, hell yeah, I want that, bring that here, come on with it, I'm just going to show y'all how much of a pussy y'all really is. Andy leaves, he comes back, he's got one chicken wing wrapped in a napkin. My spider sense should have been tingling as soon as he came in with one wrapped in a napkin. So I took this wing, and I smelled the sauce, and I'm like, that's a hot wing, that's going to have some kick to it, but I'm ready, this is... This mouth is watering to the point now that it's extinguished my spidey senses. They're non-existent. And I'm totally ignoring how hot and spicy this wing smells. Three, two, one. Here we go. I bite into this wing. Holy shit, this thing is hot. But it's like, mm, it's still good. As I'm chewing this single bite of wings, um, my mouth begins to, to get a little warmer and warmer and warmer to myself. Fuck, this is hot. I'm in trouble. I call them all kind of pussies and I don't want to eat this wing, but I got to or they're going to call me a pussy. My mouth is on fire right now. And I proceed to take the next bite of this wing. Mind you, it's only the second bite, right? And I'm just going to let you know, I ain't no bitch. I ain't. So I finish this wing, right? And every breath that I take, it gets hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter. You know, I feel like that scene in Minutes of Society, when they're talking to Kane, and you're like, you know you done fucked up, don't you? You know you done fucked up. Man, and boys in the hood, like, right before Ricky got shot, when they pulled up and that shotgun came out the window. <sighs> so, then I swear I heard that song from the Sad Puppy commercial. You know, the one from the kennel. Oh, for the Lord, that this stuff did not stop getting hotter. It just kept going. It was like the Energizer Bunny of hot sauces. Like, the shit was terrible. I don't know what that was. Bring that shit back, DJ. <laughs> you, too, for only 35 cents a day, can sponsor a dumbass who had no regard for his intestines and his asshole. You could send them wings down the hell in the little tube at the bank that you send your you know, your checks or your your deposits in Apple would send that shit straight back and say your kind is not welcome here don't you bring that shit over here no more you get the fuck out now the whole moral of this story is when somebody tell you some shit is hot maybe you should listen to them you know just a little bit I'm just saying